Hello everyone, welcome to my art channel where we do painting tutorials. For this weekend, I thought, well, I actually filmed this on Sunday, like today morning, so I thought I'd start my day with just some basic thumbnails, just to get some ideas on paper, maybe for future paintings, and work with those. So I start by taping down my page and my sketchbook, and I divide into three sections. For the first one, I start by coloring the ground with some earthy colors. I'm using yellow ochre and I believe what's raw umber. I color the bottom of the tree with some bright green and then I use some earthy green, which is slightly darker, for the rest of the foliage just to get an undertone a base layer on it. And I build up on top of the earthy green with some pale blue and cadmium orange on the top section that way they're gonna be uh, darker since I want the light to be coming from almost like the bottom almost from like behind so the pieces that are hanging down are gonna be the lightest and those on the top are gonna be the darkest I color the tree trunk with some uh, walnut brown and the earthy colors I used for the ground and I finish off the sky with just some blue then I move to my next uh, painting. I do the sky with some tail and blue. I add a little stripe of earthy green and cat orange right underneath the sky that is going to be like some distant trees. And I color the rest of the ground with some cad orange, uh, yellow ochre, and some dark chrome yellow. I want like a fall look for this tree, so with maybe dried grass or fallen leaves, I don't know. And then I color the crown of the tree with some dark chrome yellow as an undertone and I color the right side of the tree with my cad orange. I go over it with some blue and green to make that area in the shadow because for this one I want the lights to be coming from the top left. So the top left is going to be the lightest, that's where I did my chrome yellow and the right side is gonna be the darkest. I color my trees there with some walnut brown and I add a tiny tiny tree on the left section, again just some chrome yellow, a hint of those darker colors and some walnut brown for the trunk. For the bottom one, I color the background with cat orange on the bottom, a bit of chrome yellow in the middle and top it off with some tailor blue. I grab my watercolor brush and I start scribbling all of the different areas. I start from the background and I scribble scribble slash blend that in. I'm not worried about any patchiness here because uh, these are very tiny areas and won't even be really noticeable. I try to focus on blending and smoothing down my paintings when they're on the bigger side like the bottom uh, forest we have, but for the tiny thumbnails I really don't stress about it. Just make sure I clean my brush when I switch from one color to another so I don't contaminate it. For the bottom one, once I blend my yellow and my orange clean, I clean my brush, then I go to the blue, I clean my brush and then I unite the two, that way I get that nice gradient. But for the top tiny paintings, I just either use a scribble motion or tap 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 on top of uh, whatever area I'm working in such as the sky, the ground or the tree crown. Plus, since they're a bit more on the realistic side, some texture is really gonna help us in this situation. I lightly go over the tree trunks just enough to make them pop on top of the background. I noticed my initial pencil sketches were showing through a bit too much. I actually just used the free IKEA pencils to do my sketch because I don't know if you're following me on social media, but I'm moving house, so I'm doing daily trips to IKEA. And once I finish uploading this video, I'm literally gonna be running to the store to get a little bathroom unit. So yeah, I have tonfuls of IKEA pencils that I need to use up. So I quickly erase that with my eraser and I color over those areas that I just erased with the respective color. For my green tree I use some earthy green and for my orange tree I use my uh, dark chrome yellow. 
I go back to my walnut brown and I add some tiny lines uh, to mimic like tree branches showing through the foliage, just random eye shapes and V shapes and the tree leaves. Then I sharpen my black to a very fine point and I start filling the sketch in my bottom painting. You can say I'm just doing super thick lines there uh, for birch trees, is that what you call them in English? I think so, I'm not sure. But yeah, they're just super thick lines if we want to simplify the shapes. And if drawing is not your thing, you can find a traceable for all three of these and many, many other paintings over at my Patreon page, Sunshine Arts. And in doing so, you also help support me and the channel. And like always, you can find a full list of all of the supplies used down in the description box, along with links to the reference pictures I'm viewing on my smartphone. And if uh, sometimes during the video you see me blur out my smartphone, I was just doing the split screen to listen to music and I didn't realize the part that was showing music videos was on screen and I don't want to get a copyright strike, so I'm just going to blur out those parts. Um, back to my bottom painting, for some of the super skinny trees, I go over them with just orange and dark blue and maybe a bit of brown or black to get a lighter mix so they look like they're further away or maybe that light is just too strong for them, something of the sorts, but just give a bit of dimension to that painting. And for others, I just color in black, and for others, I mix my black and my orange and my blue. Just keep it random, so yeah, you get that depth look. I go with dark blue and orange beneath my top uh, thumbnail trees to add some shadows beneath them, just some horizontal lines and then I lightly go over with my brush to activate those colors and make them more vibrant. I add some uh, finishing touches with the green and the orange just to give a bit more texture uh, to the tree crowns, underline any clusters of leaves, any bushy areas, I'm not really sure how to call those. And lastly, I thought I'd add a little swing to my left tree just to balance out the composition. Then I peel off the tape and we're done. I'd like to give a very special thank you to my patrons for the month of October. Thank you all for watching. If you found any value in this video, please let me know by liking, commenting, and if you have not already, please consider subscribing to my channel. I'm currently trying to reach 20,000 subscribers and it would really mean a lot to me. We'll see each other next week with a new tutorial. Bye bye!